Millions of people worldwide have high levels of a stress hormone called cortisol. Too much cortisol can cause many different health problems, such as high blood pressure, the formation of belly fat, muscle weakness, and many other issues. Cortisol is the main stress hormone that is very important because it helps control inflammation in your body to prevent pain and swelling. Control your sleep-wake cycle or your internal body clock. Regulate your blood sugars with the help of other hormones like insulin, control different parts of your metabolism, and how your body converts food into energy, and it is also the fight-slash-flight hormone that helps your body adapt to danger and gives you energy to escape or fight in a threatening situation. Unfortunately, if your cortisol becomes out of balance, either too high or too low, it can cause some major physical health problems and mental health challenges as well, because of how it affects the brain. In this video, we're going to take a look at the top 8 common signs of high cortisol levels and why this happens so that you can become aware. I'll also share some simple lifestyle changes and remedies that you can use to help bring your cortisol levels back to a healthy range. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so you speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. 1. Loss of leg muscle and buttocks and thighs one of the most common signs of high cortisol is when the muscles in your thighs or buttocks start to waste away, but belly fat starts to appear. You often see this in older people, especially men over the age of 50, where their legs become extremely thin, yet they get a buildup of hanging fat around the stomach. The high cortisol is breaking down the muscle proteins in the legs and turning them into sugar to give you energy, and then another hormone, insulin, is converting this new sugar from your blood into belly fat. High cortisol is usually caused by stress and nutrient deficiencies. 2. Waking up between 2 to 3 a.m. stressed If you often wake up between 2 to 3 a.m. and find that you have a very overactive mind, this is a positive sign that you have too much cortisol in your body. You may find it very hard to get back to sleep because your brain is overthinking, trying to solve problems, and make plans when you should be resting. I personally suffered from this many times before I understood what was happening. As cortisol controls your internal body clock, circadian rhythm, too much of it affects your sleep and keeps you alert because your body is in fight-slash-flight mode. 3. High blood pressure You may have heard about how stress can cause high blood pressure, hypertension. It does this by raising cortisol. If your brain-slash-body thinks that there is a threat, it will release cortisol to narrow your arteries and trigger adrenaline to boost blood flow and give you fast energy. It does this so that you can fight or run away in a threatening situation, such as defending or escaping from a lion. This is perfectly normal. However, if you suffer from sustained stress for longer periods, this puts pressure on your blood vessels and keeps your blood pressure high long-term, which raises the risk of heart disease and stroke. 4. Cold sores Cold sores are itchy, tingling, sore blisters that appear on the lips or on the mouth that can often split and cause pain especially when you're eating. You may have noticed that these tend to occur when you are feeling low or you've recently gone through stress. Cortisol in the right amounts helps to keep your immune system working properly and suppress viruses, like HSB, so that they cause no problems in your body. However, if you recently had a surge in cortisol because of stress or you're not getting enough sleep, these viruses can come out of remission and trigger a cold sore. The same thing happens with other infections like colds and flu. Too much stress triggers an overproduction of cortisol, and this lowers your immunity. 5. Breathing problems, asthma, COPD, etc. Cortisol helps to keep inflammation under control in the body, especially in your lungs and respiratory system. Unfortunately, if you have too much cortisol for long periods, you start to get cortisol resistance. Basically, cortisol stops working normally as it should inside your cells. This often causes the lungs to become very inflamed and the little bronchial tubes can start to get thicker and clogged up with mucus. This causes long-term lung diseases and breathing problems like asthma and COPD. This is why doctors often prescribe cortisol, corticosteroid, inhalers. Because your own cortisol has stopped working properly, you need a boost. 6. Anxiety Anxiety is a situation where you constantly feel uneasy tense, or stressed, like there are problems that you need to solve and not enough time to do them. Even when there is nothing to worry about, you will find a way to worry. This is anxiety, and it is caused by sustained high levels of cortisol. 
Your nervous system is constantly primed for attack or defense and is locked into the fight slash flight mode, sympathetic. This keeps your muscles tight, and over long periods of time, you may develop chronic aches and pains in your muscles, joints, and especially around your shoulders and throat. Later in the video, I'll be talking more about how to get this hormone under control and turn off this anxious response. 7. Acid Reflux If you have regular bouts of heartburn, acid reflux, and a burning sensation in your chest, this may be triggered by high levels of cortisol slash stress. Cortisol turns off certain parts of your digestive system so that your energy is focused on defense or attack. Over long periods, however, the high cortisol can prevent the normal production of stomach acid, enzymes, and bile, causing a flare-up of acid reflux. This is why doctors often link acid reflux with stress. 8. Other Symptoms Lastly, I'd like to share a few bonus signs of high cortisol without going into too much detail due to the scope of this video. You get dizzy when you stand up too quickly. You're a diabetic or pre-diabetic because high levels of cortisol can raise blood sugars. You suffer from stomach ulcers. You suffer from restless legs because the cortisol is causing nerve problems. You have hiccups very often because of how cortisol is affecting your diaphragm muscle. You have hot flashes during or after menopause because your adrenal glands are weak. You have brain fog because cortisol is involved with brain function and memory. You have rosacea on your skin because of how cortisol is constricting blood vessels. You have purple stretch marks on the skin, especially around your belly, because cortisol is causing your skin to lose its elasticity. You have more than one or two cold slash infections a year because cortisol is weakening your immunity. Now, if you have a mixture of these signs and symptoms, and you'd like to know for certain if you have high cortisol, there are blood tests and hair analysis tests available. To bring your cortisol levels back to a healthy range, consider the following lifestyle changes and remedies. Manage stress by engaging in stress-reducing activities such as meditation, yoga, deep breathing exercises, or spending time in nature. Get enough sleep, aiming for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep per night to help regulate your body's cortisol levels. Exercise regularly, as physical activity can help reduce cortisol levels, though you should aim for moderate exercise since excessive intense exercise can increase cortisol. Eat a balanced diet rich in whole foods, including plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats, and avoid excessive caffeine, sugar, and processed foods. Stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water throughout the day. Spend time with friends and loved ones to foster positive relationships and reduce stress. Practice relaxation techniques, such as progressive muscle relaxation, aromatherapy, or listening to calming music. If you're struggling to manage stress and cortisol levels on your own, consider seeking help from a healthcare professional or therapist. By incorporating these lifestyle changes and remedies, you can help bring your cortisol levels back to a healthy range and improve your overall well-being. Remember to consult with your doctor if you have any medical concerns or symptoms of high cortisol levels. Causes of high cortisol The first and most common cause of high cortisol is mental-slash-emotional stress. The more pressure you're feeling mentally because of stressful people, work problems, issues with your spouse, etc., the more your nervous system reacts because it thinks you're in danger and triggers cortisol production. Another cause is not getting at least 7 to 8 hours of quality sleep each night, which causes an imbalance in your brain chemistry and stimulates cortisol. Drinking alcohol on a daily basis can deplete nutrients like vitamin B1. This causes a buildup of nervous tension and higher cortisol levels. Similarly, drinking too many stimulants like caffeine, coffee, tea, soda drinks, and energy drinks can burn out your adrenal glands, causing cortisol resistance. Heavily using steroid medications, such as prednisone or cortisone, can damage your cortisol receptors, so your adrenal glands just produce more and more. Finally, being overweight raises cortisol because of the stress it puts on your body, and your fat cells release cortisol in an effort to keep everything balanced. How to lower cortisol? Start consuming two to three tablespoons of nutritional yeast unfortified, every single day. You can eat this in yogurt, soups, stews, or sprinkle it over a salad. The B vitamins and minerals in these flakes relax your nervous system, control blood sugars, and balance out cortisol. Follow the 4-6 to six breathing technique. Breathe in, inhale, gently to a count of 4 into your belly, and breathe out slowly, exhale, to a count of 6. 
Repeat this for five minutes and you'll notice very quickly how your muscles start to relax and your thoughts start to calm down with better clarity. By controlling your breathing, you stimulate the phrenic nerve and turn off the fight slash flight response in your body. Cut back on caffeinated drinks like coffee, tea, and soda drinks until you're down to only one to two cups in the morning and no more after 2 p.m. Drink calming herbal teas like lemon balm, passionflower, or peppermint because these contain phytonutrients that soothe your nerves and stimulate GBA. If you wish, you can also use ashwagandha, a natural herbal supplement that helps your body adapt to stress. Start performing some low-stress, low-intensity exercise for at least one hour per day, such as gentle walking outside in nature to bring in lots of oxygen and improve your mental state. Essential oils, phytoncides, released from plants and trees into the air actively calm down your stress response and lower cortisol. UVB rays from the sun also help you to make vitamin D, which also lowers cortisol. Take 20,000 IUs of vitamin D3 and 200 mg of vitamin K2 each day. Although it sounds high, 20,000 IUs equals 0.5 mg. Vitamin D helps to repair damage to your body caused by high cortisol, such as lowering inflammation and boosting your immune system. Vitamin K2 works with vitamin D to move calcium around your body, which can also aid in the relaxation of muscles and strengthening your bones. Cut back on refined sugars, grains, and flour-based foods that are spiking your blood sugars and triggering cortisol. Replace these with nutrient-dense whole foods like wild salmon, avocados, salad, broccoli, kefir, radish, peppers, pumpkin seeds, and organic pork. All of these are rich in nutrients, potassium, magnesium, B vitamins, omega-3, S, etc., which promote relaxation in the body rather than revving it up. Thank you for watching this video on understanding and managing high cortisol levels. Remember, recognizing the signs of high cortisol and making simple lifestyle changes can have a profound impact on your health and well-being. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on all notifications so you never miss out on our latest health and nutrition tips. Don't forget to take advantage of the 25% discount on Let's Get Checked Home Cortisol Test Kits using the code RyanTaylor25 at checkout. The link is in the description below. For those interested in learning more about reducing anxiety and cortisol with vitamins, make sure to check out the next video by clicking on the screen now. As always, I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.